Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you another new filament example on our filamentexamples.com. In this case, it's a free snippet of filtering the number of records, showing the number of records per type in a checkbox list in a table filter. Similarly, how you would see that on booking.com or other websites. First, I will show you how it works and then we'll dive into the code. So you have hotels, hostels, apartments, and other types before above the table with numbers. And those numbers are based on the database records. In the eloquent models, we have property type with has many properties. Now, if you click any of those in checkbox list, it filters only hotels or only hotels and hostels as well. So you have 37 results here in the table, 24 plus 13. But the main question is how to populate that filter options with numbers. So let's dive into the code. This is our property resource and in the table we add a filter and this is the main thing we will be talking about. So we have checkbox list which returns the array actually and then we may add extra things like columns for example if I want to show those records in line for example if we remove that and refresh that would be vertical but I know there are five property types so five columns is appropriate. And then here we populate the options with eloquent query of property types with count of properties. And then after getting that data, we're performing the Laravel collection operation map with keys because each checkbox list option should be key value pair. So the key is type ID and the value is HTML string from type name and a text of number with gray color. And then whenever that filter is changed, we have a query on that filter and we have data type as array and we have that builder query where in property type ID in this case in the database we have this field and this is the array to filter by. So nothing really too fancy but a pretty common scenario that we thought to add to our filament examples. What do you think about this one? Would you have done it differently? Or maybe you have some other similar cases that we would try to recreate in our videos? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.